evaluate integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x upon sin x plus cos x dx. So let us consider this as i and make this an equation 1. Since here two trigonometric functions which are complementary to each other and also the limits are 0 to pi by 2, let us use the property integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So let us write the integral by using this property i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 sin square of pi by 2 minus x upon sin pi by 2 minus x plus cos pi by 2 minus x. So which is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square pi by 2 minus x is cos square x and sin pi by 2 minus x is cos x and cos pi by 2 minus x is sin x dx since sin pi by 2 minus theta is cos theta and cos pi by 2 minus theta is sin theta. So let us consider this an equation 2. Now adding 1 and 2 so adding 1 and 2 i plus i that is 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x upon sin x plus cos x dx plus 0 to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos x plus sin x. So here integrals both are same. <coughs> So we can write 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x since the denominator is same for both the fractions sin square x plus cos square x upon sin x plus cos x dx which is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so 1 upon sin x plus cos x dx. So therefore we can write i is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to pi by 2 1 upon sin x plus cos x. Now let us substitute since sin and cos we can write in tan by using the formula sin theta is equal to 2 tan theta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square theta by 2 and cos theta is equal to 1 minus tan square theta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square theta by 2. So for the reason let us substitute put sin x or put tan x by 2 is equal to t put tan x by 2 is equal to t differentiating with respect to 2x we have secant square x by 2 into differentiation of x by 2 is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 times dx is equal to dt and this can also be written 1 by 2 times secant square x by 2 is 1 plus tan square x by 2 dx is equal to dt or we can add 1 by 2 times of 1 plus t square dx is equal to dt. So we can write dx is equal to 2 times dt upon 1 plus t square. And also since sin theta is equal to 2 tan theta by 2 by 1 plus tan square theta by 2. So we can write sin x is equal to 2 tan x by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square x by 2. So which is equal to 2t upon 1 plus t square. And similarly cos x is equal to 1 minus tan square that is 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. So let us substitute and even the integrals also will change the limits. The limits will be changed from 
x is varying from 0 to pi by 2 so that the t values will change from when x is equal to 0 so t is nothing but second t is nothing but tan x by 2 so tan 0 by 2 that is tan 0 tan 0 is 0 so the lower limit is 0 and when x is equal to pi by 2 so t is equal to tan pi by 2 divided by 2 that is pi by 4 tan pi by 4 value is 1 so the upper limit is 1 so the limits are changed from 0 to 1 so i is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to 1 so 1 upon sin x we can write 2t divided by 1 plus t square plus and cos t is nothing but 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square into dx is nothing but we can add 2 into dt divided by 1 plus t square so that we can write here 1 by 2 times of into 2 times dt or we can write here 1 upon t square simplification so 2 times of 1 plus t square upon 2t plus 1 minus t square into dt divided by 1 plus t square so we can cancel 1 plus t square and here I also cancel 1 by 2 to get cancelled so i is equal to integral 1 upon 2t minus t square plus 1 so let us factorize this so let us factorize here Two t minus t square plus one. We can write it as negative of t square minus two t plus one, or minus of. We can write it as t square minus two t. So this is minus one. So we can write plus one and minus two. So that is negative of t minus 1 whole square minus 2 we can also write it as root 2 whole square or we can write this as root 2 whole square minus t minus 1 whole square so we can write i is equal to integral say the limits is 0 to 1 here 0 to 1 1 upon root 2 whole square minus t minus 1 whole square dt and since we know that integral 0 to sorry we can take only in, integral dx upon a square minus x square is equal to 1 by 2a log a plus x upon a minus x plus c so we can use the formula here i is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 into log of a plus x that is root 2 plus t minus 1 divided by root 2 minus of t minus 1 that is root 2 minus t plus 1 over the limits 0 to 1 so substituting the upper limit log root 2 plus 1 minus 1 divided by root 2 minus 1 plus 1 upper limit minus lower limit is log of root 2 plus 0 minus 1 divided by root 2 minus 0 plus 1 which on simplifying we will get 1 by 2 root 2 times log root 2 plus 1 minus 1 that is root 2 divided by root 2 is 1 log 1 minus log of root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1 so which can also be written 1 by 2 root 2 into log 1 is 0 and negative of that we can write it as log root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 on rationalizing and here the property applied here the negative minus log of a by b we can write it as log of b by a and here we can rationalize it root 2 plus 1 divided by root 2 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 into log root 2 plus 1 whole square divided by root 2 plus 1 into root 2 minus 1 is root 2 whole square minus 1 square which is equal to 1 by 2 root 2 into we can bring here 2 outside 2 times log of root 2 plus 1 since the denominator is 
root 2 whole square is to 2 minus 1 1 so finally we can give the answer the integral i is equal to integral i is equal to 1 by root 2 times log of root 2 plus 1 this is the answer okay